Hello, apprentice teachers. This is Ms. Collier. Happy New Year. Thank you to all of you who have emailed your mentors and carboned me on those emails. If you have not yet emailed your mentor, you need to do so immediately and carbon copy me on that email. I know that many of you are getting excited and a little bit anxious about student teaching, and one of the things you're wondering about is your schedule. Student teaching for Teach North Texas is a minimum half-time requirement. Each schedule is unique to the apprentice teacher uh, in accordance with the mentor teacher schedule. I'm going to go over a few sample schedules and then your schedule hopefully will fall in line closely with one of these. Let's start with Denton High Schools. Denton High Schools are on an AB block schedule. They have skinny blocks and fat blocks. The skinny blocks are first and fifth periods. These classes meet every day for approximately 50 minutes. Second, third, and fourth are 90-minute blocks that meet every other day. Six of the classes the teacher teaches and the other two are conference periods. Ideally, you will stay all day every day and learn as much as you can. But the minimum requirement at a Denton ISD high school will be to teach three classes and have one conference. Let's look at a sample schedule. This schedule in blue is the schedule for one of our mentors. What's printed in red is could be the schedule for the apprentice teacher. The apprentice teacher would not need to be there first period as the mentor teacher is coaching track. The classes that the apprentice teacher would eventually take over would be 4A, 2B, and 4B. During fifth period, this apprentice teacher would stay whenever they were able to and observe or co-teach, but on days that they couldn't, perhaps because they have to come to UNT and take a class, then they would leave at the end of fourth block. Again, you signed a paper stating that you understand that it is best not to work during student teaching. However, I know that some of you need to. It is best if you can work mostly on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and keep your working on Monday through Thursdays to a minimum. Let's look at a middle school Denton schedule. Denton ISD middle schools are on an eight period day. Five of those are content classes, two are planning periods, and one period is for advisory. This is the schedule for one of our mentor teachers at Crownover Middle School. Some of the high schools um, in the area, like Sanger and McKinney, I believe Prosper as well, follow a schedule very similar to this one. Ideally, you will stay all day every day and learn as much as you can. But under this schedule, the minimum would be for you to teach three classes and be there for one planning period each day. So if you had a class at UNT in the morning, you might ultimately be responsible for the fourth period, seventh period, and eighth period classes. You would be there every day for six period planning. If you had an afternoon class at UNT, then you may be responsible for three of the morning classes and always be there for the um, what would it be the first period planning? Again, it depends on your needs and the schedule of your mentor. All right, let's look at Louisville High School. Louisville High Schools are on an accelerated block. Students go to the same four classes for 90 minutes each day. Here's a sample schedule for a Louisville teacher. Ideally, you'll stay every day, all day, and learn as much as you can. But in Louisville High Schools, the minimum will be for you to teach two classes and be at conference at least half the time. So in this schedule, you may be there for first, second, and third, or for second, third, or fourth. Another thing that students often ask about is what they need to do during conference. You need to be with your mentor teacher during conference. Sometimes you will be engaged in planning with other teachers. Many of the school districts have PLCs, professional learning communities, where all of the teachers who teach the same discipline get together to plan for the unit. You will participate in these planning sessions. 
You will also need time to conference with your mentor individually to get feedback on your lesson plans and feedback on how you are doing in terms of implementing the lessons. Now when I say you will take over three classes, this will not happen immediately. You will gradually take over three classes. You will begin by teaching exactly the way your mentor teaches. This may be foreign to some of you because some of your mentors may be more direct instruction based. But please just learn as much as you can from them. As the semester progresses, you will take over more classes, you will take over more of the planning and more of the grading until as we get to the end of the semester, you have become the lead teacher fully responsible for planning, implementing, and grading three classes of instruction, or two in the case of Louisville High Schools. Another question that comes up is whether or not you need to stay for tutoring. You should stay at least half of the time that your mentor does. If your mentor has tutoring in the morning and the afternoon, you should not feel obligated to stay for both, but you should stay for one. If your mentor offers tutoring four days after school during a week, you should stay for two of those four days. Keep in mind that your student teaching is really a semester long interview. Your mentor teacher is noticing when you have initiative, enthusiasm, drive, passion, determination, a good work ethic. Your mentor teacher is not going to recommend you for a job if they notice that you are only doing the minimum that is required. So a half-time teaching load is the minimum. And for those of you who have to take classes, we understand that need. However, you should be on campus as much as you possibly can. I will be seeing all of you on the 15th, and you will get an email from Mr. Sutton if you have not already concerning the times and places for that day. In the meantime, please email me with any questions. If you have questions about your particular schedule, it will be helpful if you actually email me your mentor's schedule so that I can look at it and answer your questions accordingly. Thank you.